Sphagnum moss, or peat moss, is one of the major families of mosses. Mosses in this genus make up the main part of bogs and fens, habitats which make up major parts of the Earth's surface. They have non-living hyaline cells just for holding water, allowing the plants to store 16 to 26 times as much water as their dry weight, depending on the species. The photosynthetic areas exist between the swelled hyaline cells, and are more numerous near the leaf tip. One of the most aesthetically exciting parts of the desiccating sphagnum footage is the manner in which some species turn bone white. For some, the color change plays out in a fairly simple manner. For others, this process seems to happen in a more piecemeal fashion, and reveals the assemblage of branches and leaves that make up a sphagnum plant. When you get really close, this effect becomes even more pronounced. Some pretty common plants that I've seen are the Canada Mayflower plant, conifer seedlings, naked bishop's cap, Haircap moss, and creeping snowberry. The diversity in color that the live plants create is astounding. Leaf litter is a source of nutrition for mosses, which don't have true roots that allow other plants to find nutrients underground. It also makes it a lot easier to compose individual scenes within humongous moss video clips. For example, meandering grass gives direction, Branches create striking borders. Leaves form stunning arrangements. Haircap moss sporophyte stems meander through the landscape. Living plants also create picturesque scenes.
Here you can see an individual sphagnum plant. They grow very slowly and generally exist on top of what can be multiple meters of slowly anaerobically decomposing moss.